What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today I got me a uh, Nebula projector. I've been hearing a lot about these Nebula projector. Now, um, if you've been watching this channel, you know I have gone through a few projectors. Um, usually I'm trying to find the lowest price projector possible and I want to see if I can, uh, you know, project it on my wall just to, you know, view some sports, play some games on it. But I've been, um, I've been a little disappointed. So anyway, I've jump shipped and jump over to this Nebula projector because everyone's been talking about it. Anyway, I heard a lot about this. This is supposed to be like super small, but it projects really good image quality on it. This one comes with Android 7.1. And so today I want to unbox this and I want to show you a little footage on it to see how good it is. Because guys, this is my first time seeing this. I actually did purchase this with my own money. Uh, Anchor, Nebula did not come to me uh, and pay me for this at all. Yep. Anyway, let's do it. Mm, got myself a remote. And here it is, the actual Nebula projector. Gosh, it is a size of a soft drink. That is so small. Look at that. It's incredible. Uh, here's, here's my iPhone. It's smaller than my iPhone. Look at that. It's smaller than my iPhone. I, I can't imagine. I'm so surprised. Looks like there's grills for speakers all around here. All the buttons are up on top, okay. And this is probably where you adjust the footage so that it projects correctly onto the wall. Uh, tripod mount down here, awesome. So input, um, micro USB, and then HDMI. Simple, super simple. Let's see what else is in this box here. Probably a bunch of cords over here on this side. Yeah. Oh, batteries for the remote. It's nice of them to do that. Micro USB cord. Micro USB, USB A to micro USB. And then it co even comes with a uh, power brick for you. Okay, next part. This is the most important part, which is how good is this tiny little thing here, right? So let's go ahead and plug it in and set it up. Okay guys, so I've got my uh, screen set up over here, which I'm gonna be showing you that in a little bit, but before I do that, I just wanna show you something pretty cool, okay? So uh, check out my table right here. By, by the way, these, these lines that you see right here, that's really not what, um, it's happening um, it's just my camera it doesn't like the, this whole like uh, DLP thing okay but uh, that's not what I'm trying to show you so what I'm trying to show you is that check this out okay so right right now I'm holding it like so like so all right now watch this as I'm like tilting my projector you see that I want to tilt it this way and it auto adjusts itself. You see that? Yeah, it's trying to adjust itself. So if I were to go like this, it adjusts it. Go like this, adjust. Isn't that amazing? I mean, it just like adjusts itself to however. So I don't have to do that whole, you know, setting that I keep doing with every single projector that I own. That's, it's crazy. That's the power of this projector right here in this size that is crazy okay so anyway let's look at the footage on the screen over here all right all right so here you go guys this is the actual footage from the nebula itself oh my gosh i cannot imagine this looks so good now obviously the bigger the screen that you have or the further the projector is to the screen it's gonna look different, right? The color's gonna be more washed out because you're stretching that pixel more, but look at this, this is incredible. I, I can't imagine. I mean, 
I have never had a projector that looks this good. Wow, look at this. Look. This looks so good right here. I don't know how they do it, but this projector is probably one of the best looking footage from a projector that I've ever seen. And look how small it is too compared to all the other projectors that I have. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. I can't, and this is just first generation, by the way. They, there's also a third generation as well, which I will be getting now that I have seen the footage from this. This is incredible. Wow. So by the way, this is just coming straight from YouTube. So the quality of the footage is probably not as good as it can be. Now imagine plugging in the HDMI and actually playing things off of this thing. Wow, this footage looks incredible. This is running at 1080p at 60 FPS. Uh, by the way, my camera is definitely not doing this footage justice at all. Uh, it's a little more washed out in the uh, color that you're seeing here. But in real life, this looks so much better. So much better. Okay, so this is another piece of footage. I just want to test this one out. This is at 720p that I've selected on YouTube. But look how incredible this looks. Now, guys, uh, my camera definitely is not doing this thing justice at all, okay? So if you like the way this looks, um, yeah, it's going to look better in real life. That is incredible. I want to turn on the sound just to let you guys hear the surround sound on this. Yeah, this photo just looks so good. Wow. Okay, so there you have it guys. That's the Nebula projector right there. A small form factor projector that really, really could project a great image quality on a screen. I, it's incredible. I've never seen anything like this in my life. This is probably my best discovery this year. Um, I can't wait to get version three of this because you, you guys know this is version one, right? So can you imagine what version three would be like? Anyway, this thing does so much more than on the surface and I'm so glad I got this. Um, you guys should definitely check this one out if you're looking for a good projector. The image quality on this thing is incredible. Um, the only downfall that I would say about this projector is the whole remote. The remote, you have to literally point it straight at this thing for it to uh, really work. Yeah, it was a little bit hard just fumbling through this thing. But other than that, uh, there's a bunch of features that I haven't even tested out yet. The speaker right here already sound incredible from what I'm, I'm hearing. Um, you can actually hook a Bluetooth speaker to this too if you want to, which to me is like, wow, you already have a great speaker, but you can also hook an external speaker to this as well. Incredible. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of features that I haven't tested out yet, but so far this thing is worth every penny, I feel like. Anyhow, that's it right there for me. I am out of here, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.